Did you know that Autodesk Docs can serve as a conduit for sharing surface models with full fidelity between Civil 3D and Revit? It's also a lot easier to use than you might think. Let's take a look. Here in Revit, I have a proposed building design. Let's assume the site topography for this project is being modeled by a team member using Civil 3D. Before we share data back and forth, we'll need to align the coordinates between these two platforms. I'll start by exporting the footprint of this building such that it can be properly positioned within the Civil 3D environment. In the Project Browser, under Floor Plans, I'll double-click to select the view representing the building footprint. I will then export this geometry to DWG by clicking File, Export, CAD Formats, DWG. I will then click the Ellipsis button and choose Units and Coordinates and set the output units to Feet to match the Civil 3D environment. I'll click OK and Next, and for now I'll save this DWG file on my desktop and we'll simply call it Footprint. This file would then be shared with the stakeholder working in Civil 3D. Over in Civil 3D, we could insert the footprint by selecting the Insert tab and choose Insert, Recent to open the block palette, and then click the Insert Drawing button. From here, I'll select the footprint that was exported from Revit and then I'll click to place it on screen. This geometry would then be positioned and rotated on the proposed site to ensure that it fits within all applicable easements and setbacks. Let's assume that work has already been done. I'm going to delete this geometry and we'll pan the drawing over where we'll find the building footprint has been added to this site. Note that this site also includes a proposed surface. If I select the surface and bring up the object viewer, I can rotate the surface so we can see it in 3D. When I'm finished, I'll close the object viewer and we'll do one more thing. The surface is still selected. Using the properties palette, I'm going to change the surface style to one that displays the triangulation. I'll also select the building footprint geometry and I'll bring up object viewer one more time to show you that this building geometry is not only placed correctly from a horizontal perspective, it is also placed at the appropriate elevation as it relates to the proposed surface. Once again, I'll close the object viewer and press Escape to deselect the objects. Now that we have common geometry between Revit and Civil 3D, we can use this geometry to align the two environments. We'll do that using the Shared Reference Point feature. On the Toolbox tab of the Civil 3D tool space, I'll expand Subscription Extension Manager and look for Autodesk Shared Reference Point. Inside, I'll double-click to launch the Export Shared Reference Points command. I will then pick two points on the building. The first one represents the origin, and the second will establish the rotation and scale. In the pop-up dialog box, we can see the XYZ coordinate of the first point I chose, followed by the rotation defined by that second point. Finally, I'll choose Feet as my drawing units, and I'll click OK. As you can see, we are saving this data as an XML file. For now, I'm going to save this on my desktop, and I'll keep the default name and click Save. Now let's jump over to Revit and import the shared coordinates. I'll select the Add-ins tab and choose Import Shared Coordinates from XML File. In the lower left corner of the screen, you'll find the same prompts we had in Civil 3D. I'm simply going to choose the same two points. First the origin, and then the point that determines rotation. Revit then asks, where can I get the coordinates Civil 3D is using for these points? I'll select the XML file and click Open, Yes, and OK. Now that the Civil 3D coordinates have been loaded into Revit, we can access them by going to the Manage tab and choosing Location. And on the Site tab, I'll switch this from Internal to the new Shared Reference Point. When finished, I'll click Make Current and OK. One more thing. In addition to the coordinates, if we'd like to match the orientation used in Civil 3D, I can do that in the Properties panel by changing the orientation from Project North to True North. And when I click Apply, we'll see the building oriented to True North just like it is in Civil 3D. Okay, now that everything is in alignment, let's create a link to the Civil 3D surface. To do that, I'm going to jump back over to Civil 3D, and on the Output tab, I'll choose Publish Surfaces. This allows me to publish one or more surfaces to Autodesk Docs such that they can be accessed by Revit. In this case, I'll select the proposed surface, and then if I click the ellipsis button at the bottom, 
I can use Desktop Connector to select my desired docs project and folder to save the published service. When finished, I'll click OK and Publish to publish the service to docs. Once the service has been published, I'll jump back to Revit and I'll switch to a 3D view of the building. Now to create a link to the Civil 3D surface, I'll select the Insert tab and I'll choose Link Topography. From here I can select the same docs account and project. I can then choose the folder where the surface was published. Finally, I'll select the surface and click the Link button. And when given the option, I'll choose to align it using the shared coordinates. And that's it! This linked topography maintains the same triangulation and fidelity as the original surface in Civil 3D. In the future, as modifications are made to the surface, an updated version can be republished from Civil 3D and then refreshed here within the Revit environment. So, if exchanging surface data between Civil 3D and Revit would benefit your next project, consider using Autodesk Docs. Docs is the most efficient way to share surface data between these two platforms.